Okay. Now this is a vibe. That's a vibe, guys. I'm not gonna lie, that is a vibe. What's going on, guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this super cool editing effect. As long as you have a super sick song and a really cool beat, you should be able to do this with any of your shots. We're also gonna be using a cool beat from Sound Raw. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So we can't start our edit without any music or beats. So we're gonna head on over to SoundRaw.io. If you guys don't know what Sound Raw is, it's pretty much a music platform where you can easily and instantly create beats in a matter of seconds. And the cool thing is that all of this is royalty free. So you can use this without paying any royalties whatsoever. And all of the music and beats you create on this website is yours to use. You can use this commercially if you want to. And the cool thing about SoundRaw too is that it uses ethical AI and responsible AI. You're not stealing anyone's work. If we scroll down here, you can see that there's really, really big artist collabs. Fabio Foreign. Is that how you say his name? Let me know in the comment section below how you say his name. His song is called Doing Me. Let me just play that for you guys. So you can just hear what it sounds like. These are real songs, by the way. That's pretty fire, guys. I'm not going to lie. And then there's French Montana. That's pretty sick. And then we have Trippy Red. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit slower, a little bit more melodic. I'm drinking out the bottle with your friends. I'm trying to figure out what's the plan. And here you can choose the length, the tempo to create a song. So I want to create a really cool kind of money bag yo type of beat. So I'm going to go with trap. Three minutes might be too long. So I might want to change the length for a montage type of edit. 30 seconds max. I'm going to do 15 for the sake of the video. Play this one. So yeah, that one's way too slow. And I think the mood is a bit too laid back. His music is a lot more dark. So we're going to go to mood and just go to dark. So I'm going to go ahead and push play on the first one. And here you have a mixer, so you can control the mixing of all of this. Maybe we can start this off a little bit more intense. You can take off the melody if you don't like it in the backing. So as you hear more of the bass and the drum. And we're going to be editing to this beat. So I'm just going to quickly download this song. And we're going to import that into Final Cut Pro. So we want to start this off with this shot here. I just think it's kind of cool. Again, we could use another song that I made in Sound Raw. So again, I use this one in Sound Raw. There's actually more drum kicks in this one compared to the first one. And then here's the other one. I think I'm gonna go with the other one that I just made. So we're gonna take our first shot, it's gonna look like this. And I wanna create a flash right at the beginning of that kick. I'm just gonna split it maybe a few seconds, like 22 frames. Right, we're gonna go over to the transitions and go over to the light. And I'm gonna go add a flash transition to the very beginning and i'm going to bring this down but it's like a flash going off like a flash grenade going off and that's kind of like the effect that i want to create so i'm just going to extend this out and i think for this shot we're going to switch it out so press command b maybe we can do this one so i'm going to press command b delete that and if you don't want to use a magnetic timeline if you make your split here and you press p on the keyboard and you drag upwards this will create a empty space underneath you just delete this and it'll fill it and then anything else you do will just stick to this right here you can hear a, like a, a double kick so what we can do here is maybe for that shot we can actually we're going to cut it right here so i'm right there it's going to stop here and then this next shot i'm going to want this to be a different shot so this scene here in the parking lot so we're going to delete this and then just we're just moving and cutting clips this is how you would normally do it okay so that sounds pretty good so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to on the third frame i'm going to go one two three Let's just skip three frames and press command b and then you're going to do that every three frames just a couple of times so you can fill this area so we're just going to press command b and then we're going to start this off big so we're going to scale this video up so we're just going to type in for scale all we're going to type in 110 press enter so what we're creating here is we're just pretty much making like a scale effect it's going to scale up it's going to go back to normal and then it's going to go scale up again to 110 press enter and then it's going to scale again so right here where it starts again the beat we're going to go three frames again here's one two three one two three one two three and then we're going to cut that and then go to the first one so just going to repeat the same exact process and so if you don't want to do it all over again just press command c on the first clip with the changes we have and then you're going to select the first frame and the second clip i should say then press shift command v all together and click paste and you don't have to do it all over again so it'll look and sound like this 
So again, you wanna time it to the beat correctly, otherwise it's gonna look weird and it's not gonna match up at all. Maybe for this one, we can just leave this one out. So we can just do 100%. Yeah, see, that sounds a little bit better. So even by extending it out a few frames, we'll just completely ruin the effect. So this is why you need a correct beat to do this. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna go over to the effects and we're gonna go down to blur because we wanna make this effect a little smoother. So go to blur and we're gonna add a zoom blur. So add that onto where the clip zooms up. And this will of course make it so that the whole entire video is blurred. We don't want that. So go over to the shape mask under zoom, add a shape mask and just move it over your subject. And then we're gonna invert the mask. So click on the mask again and click invert masks. So now everything inside of this circle with the feather will be not blurred, if that makes sense. So now we can just increase the amount a little bit more. And then we're going to press Command C and then select the other, the first two. Then press Shift Command V again. Make sure you turn off all of these video attributes and you only have zoom enabled and click paste. So now if I go back and I push play, you have that cool kind of blurry zoom effect, which looks really cool. So now let's move on to the next one. So right here, the beat changes. When the beat happens again, the scene changes. So it's all synchronized correctly. That way you're not making random cuts. And then right here, we can change it again. I'm gonna delete that. And then from here, what I wanna do is create a very simple freeze frame kind of match cut. So in order to do that, you would just go over to the beginning and go over to edit at the top and go down to add freeze frame. And then this will create a still image of that frame that you were on. So just drag it to the beginning. You can drag it upwards too if you want. So I'm gonna drag it inwards to about maybe 20 frames is fine. In case you don't know, if you go in between the clip and you press shift left or right on the arrow keys, it will shift at 10 frames. So just FYI. So I think this is fine. And then we're gonna trim the end to match it to the beginning of that clip. Select the first clip and go over to the effects and go down to masks and add the draw mask. And then you're just gonna mask out your subject or whatever you wanna mask out. On the edges, if you drag past that corner, if you on this point, if you hold option, you can change the direction of the mask. So I'm just gonna quickly go over it like this. And then once you're masked it out, I'm gonna go back to fit. And then under feather, you can feather it out just a tad so it doesn't have a super hard edge. So now we're gonna go over to transform right here and then zoom out so you can see transparent window. We can do it by having this so you can see uh, the checkered background. So if you move the playhead at the end of that clip, okay, you have to go one frame to the left in order to see the controls. So add a keyframe. And then if you go back, to the very beginning and you go back to 25 you can put this wherever you want so i'm gonna go like maybe start it on the bottom i'm gonna rotate it and maybe scale it down as well now if you go to the very beginning it just does all of the movement for you so if you go in between the clip like right here you can change the angle of this if you click on this keyframe you can change the curvature so you can make it go a lot smoother like this so if i push play it'll kind of go in like this super smooth. If you move it on this area, right here is gonna add another keyframe. So it'll go kind of like that. Pretty sick. So we're gonna go and leave it like that. And now I'm gonna go over to blur and add a directional blur so that it makes it come in a lot smoother. So go forward like this. I'm gonna add a keyframe about, I don't know, three frames before it ends under amount and then go to the end of that clip and bring it all the way to zero. So now if I go back and push play, Let's keep going. So there's two beats again. So you can just repeat this over and over again. I think you guys are kind of getting the idea. You're just making cuts to the beat. So right here's another one. So I'm gonna kind of get rid of this and just go to the next shot because that's kind of a waste. And then maybe on the second one, we can again change the scene to something like here. Or what you can do is instead of it just transitioning or cutting to a separate scene for each beat, take your next shot and place it in between the beat. So you can do something like this. Look, if I cut this, I wanna use this as our main clip, so our following clip. And then I drag the clip that's kind of like a more of a B-roll type of shot. You would drag that in between, so it'll look kind of like this. That's too long, so we're gonna make this shorter. So we're placing the top clip or the B-roll clip where there's no beat, if that makes sense, so, or kick. So I'm just bringing it in like that. So it goes in pretty quick. 
see that. Now you could even make this a lot more uh, interesting and creative if you have a match, uh, match cut. So the shape of the wheel, you can match it to the bottom clip if it's round as well. Uh, another thing you can do is create a flash transition. No plugins are needed. So right here, cut it right here. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then the next shot, I'm gonna start it here. Now that you can hear another kick in the beat. So right there, I'm gonna do a quick little flash. So go to light under effects and add the glow. And the glow works by just making all the highlights glow, literally. So I think that's fine. And then we're gonna go over the color tab and increase the exposure under highlights so that it's almost like a blown out image. The next shot right here. It kind of slows down. This is the original video, by the way. I haven't touched the actual video itself. We're just adding effects and transitions at this point. So right here, just before the next beat, we can create a easing flash effect. So if you go over to the effects and go under all and type in negative, it'll invert the image color. Because this image is like pretty dark, it's gonna invert the color. So it's gonna be mostly white. Under amount, we're gonna start it off at zero. So add a keyframe at the beginning, and then we're gonna gradually increase it here, I think to 100. And then we want to follow up with that negative into our next scene. So if we take another clip like, ooh, this shot right here would look nice. So I'm going to delete this. It's going to bring it to the beginning here. And I want to follow along from that last effect. So we're going to add the negative again onto the second scene. We're going to add a keyframe at 100 because that's where it left off. And then we're going to fade the negative after the beat ends. So bring the amount to zero. So now if I go back and I push play. And then we can kind of and it as the song finishes right here. We can delete the rest, assuming that's when the music video ends. So now if we go back and we play it from the very beginning. Super simple. I mean, we could extend this out a little bit. I mean, come on, we can, a little bit of emptiness is okay, so. So literally editing to beats shouldn't be this easy as you can see from the title. But if you guys wanna try out SoundRaw, I highly recommend it. It's soundraw.io where you can just play around with the music. SoundRaw is literally upping their game. Now you can get 50% off with code KING when you subscribe to any plan on soundraw.io slash KING. So link is in the description. And with that being said, deuce.